Hey everyone, Rob Wiseguy82 here. Uh, this is going to be a bunch of books from from uh, eBay and some other places, uh, some other like online places, <clears throat> no LCSs or anything like that. Um, these two books I know I had in the back of another video. <clears throat> uh, I didn't talk about them though, but they're awesome. Uh, I never seen them before, but uh, this one right here is Fathom uh, Number Zero Primer, and it's Michael Turner. Um, and I just thought, you know, when I saw it, I was just like, damn, you know, it's just like a perfect, beautiful, peaceful, tranquil cover, and I just thought it was awesome. Sitting in the waterfall, you know, you can, you know, being washed clean, look at it like that. Just an awesome, awesome you know, if it was a photo, you know, capturing an awesome moment. And then this one was just really cool. I love <clears throat> Sia Um. Uh, she's another goddess of the industry. She's awesome. This is uh, Executive Assistant Iris Annual 1B. This is the, uh, there's only 200 of these. I think there's only 500 of these uh, Michael Turners. Uh, but you can see right here, uh, limited to 200. And uh, I, the freaking watercolors, uh, and look, what, look at these flowers. Just look at how awesome they are. Look at that. Bam. I just thought that was so pretty. Awesome. Alright, so these right here, finally, <coughs> are the books that uh the auction that I won excuse me and these ones um I've seen I had before this I had seen a couple of them um you know for like $99 $79 and uh and then boom they they came up I I ended up getting them for $20 a piece free shipping and uh so these are monocyte these are the retailer incentive variants, and uh, this first one is uh, Ashley Wood, and it's signed by uh, Matthew Menton uh, III and Ashley Wood uh, on the interior. And then, <clears throat> I haven't heard back, but, so, this one uh, is signed by Menton III and Ben Templesmith, um... I assume, like in this case, that the other one, the other signature is for the cover artist, but, uh, and I know this isn't how he normally does it, if you could see it, but, and, and on the interior, unless it's a mistake, it says this is a Bill Sankevich cover. So I asked why, you know, he had Ben Templesmith sign it, and I haven't heard back, so. <clears throat> so that's number two. And then number three... I showed you guys in the last video, um, but this is a Bill Pratt, I think it was, no, George Pratt, really wicked cover, and who was this one, oh, uh, oh no, I just put signed by Minton on it. Shit. I forget who this one is, but this is number four. And these are, again, are all the retailer incentive variants. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, some of even just the regular covers, there's A, B, and C for each one. So these are the C covers. And the quality is really awesome. Like, so these right here are like a matte finish. And then the the IDW and all this lettering is... It almost has a texture. You could definitely feel it. It's not quite embossed, but just really, really high quality cover. And then this one is an, the whole cover is done like, like this right here. So it's a shiny gloss on that one. Not sure why they chose to do it differently. Um, <clears throat> all right. So anyways, those are, these are some like, uh, I guess you would say like, uh, and I got a couple other ones too, like Grail books that don't come up for the retailer incentive 
uh, you know, for like the Menton 3 fans or Ashley Wood, those uh, like Zombies vs. Robots collection that I've got of all the retailer incentive variants. Um, it's fun because, you know, like I've, I've said it before, but, uh, you, you know, you, one day you'll see one for $100 and then all of a sudden you'll see the same book for $6 and it's just, yeah, it's freaking awesome. Anyways, <clears throat> let's do, all right, so, no, and thank you guys, uh, for the well wishes, uh, all about comics, um, Don the Doctor, Renato, thank you guys, really appreciate it, uh, I know a couple of you guys have shown this, I'm so freaking happy to have it. Uh, Penny for Your Soul, number one, uh, yeah, Natalie Sanders, I mean, there's not much more to say about this one, absolutely fantastic, so happy to have that, <clears throat> and then this, and, uh, I kind of feel like a jackass, but not really, because, you know, and I've known, uh, I think, one person in my life one male that was named shannon but apparently this shannon mayor <laughs> is a male i finally watched a video and then i saw because uh, he, he's done some youtube videos uh, i finally watched one of those and uh on all about comics this video he mentioned he said he and i was like oh, really so shannon mayor excuse me is not a goddess of the industry <laughs> Uh, yeah, and plus, I mean, come on, so a lot of times you can, you, you know, I have a distinct style, and it does not look feminine, it looks like chicken scratch, that looks a lot more feminine than male for the handwriting, so I was just adding up, I'm sorry, I apologize, Shannon Mayer, male, has done awesome videos, still does um, amazing artwork, um, uh, he does it all digitally, so it's... I just don't, it, I would never have guessed really because on some of them, maybe not so much this one, like you could, it, it still looks like it's done on like, uh, uh, like that, uh, canvas and like you could see brush strokes and I know that like, I guess you program that in or something. So I don't know. Is that, I don't know how, how, do, how, do, how do you feel about that? How do, how do, cause Alex Ross, I know he paints. You know, on canvases, and Natalie Sanders does, and but I know a lot of people don't. I mean, what do you guys think about that? I don't know how I feel about that. Is it the same? Is it different? Tell me what you guys think. All right, <clears throat> so this right here, I'm so happy to have this, and I really need to get the uh, the inspiration for it. So this is sink number two. This is the uh, Dallas Fanfares Brain Trust variant. And cover swipe of Detective 880. That awesome jock cover. This one's done by... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, what is it? Steve... Yeah, Steve Wilcox. And uh, and then he signed it right here in gold. I thought that was pretty freaking awesome. Sync number two. Uh, I think there's 250... No, no yeah, maybe there's 500 of these. I think there's maybe 500 of these. Alright, a couple more. So this right here, uh, All About Comics, is the one that I was talking about, a uh, new Natalie Sanders book that I hadn't seen anybody put up. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. And this is an early one, so I didn't... So All About Comics said that Natalie Sanders' first uh, first cover was that. Oh, I just had it. Well, anyways, it was 2011, and this one is August 2011. So I got to look at the date. <clears throat> but this right here is, and I didn't write it down. So what we'll do <clears throat> is this right here. This is an early Natalie Sanders 
and it's a Baltimore Comic Con exclusive for Penny for Your Soul number one. And it's, you can see, Baltimore Comic Con limited to 250. And so this one, yeah, is August 2011, Volume 2, number 1. Yeah, so we'll have to check that out. I wonder how uh, how much earlier the other one is. Yep, amazing. And you can see kind of different signature, Natalie Sanders. Yeah, awesome. All right, a couple more, guys. And these ones right here, I've been waiting for. Actually, one of these is I've been waiting for it the longest, so I'll, I'll hold off on that one for a second. Because um, I haven't seen it less than, I think like 79 or 99 was the cheapest I'd seen it but uh and this one right here I I've, I've only seen it this one time so I and I've had it in my cart forever and just you know I was trying to bug the guy trying to get a little bit of a discount but he wasn't having it and it was all in you know there was nothing nasty about it obviously it was all good but I was trying I was bugging but uh yeah this is I'm so happy to have this cuz this is the very last one that I need for my collection of uh, the Retailer Incentive Variants for uh, Zombies vs. Robots Adventure. Uh, Ashley Wood cover. It's the it's uh, just one of the four-issue miniseries that Zombies vs. Robots have had. And, uh, yeah, it's, I've only seen it once. Uh, and I got it on Amazon. And, uh, yeah, really, really just... I freaking love it. And you can see right there a W. Yeah. That's the Ashley Wood. Ah, oh, and I just love it. Painted covers. I think he does them like big canvas or whatever. Ah, oh, I love it. And then this one right here. Um, you know, ever since I heard about Zombies vs. Robots, I've seen this. And then there's, you know, there's signed ones. Uh, I think there's one for like 250 or $230 or something like that. It's signed by uh, Chris Real and Ashley Wood. Um, but this is the Retailer Incentive variant for uh, Zombies vs. Robots, number one. Uh, this is the original series. And uh, you can see right there, Retailer Incentive cover. And, uh, yep, this is uh, number one. This is the this is the one that I've been, you know, there's a few of them out there for $120 up to $250 and and, uh, yep, I, I waited, I didn't, uh, yeah, I, I didn't pay nearly that, and, uh, yeah, just freaking amazing painted art from Ashley Wood, <clears throat> and, uh, oh, two more, shoot, I almost forgot, all right, hold on, all right, so these right here, are a couple of uh, variants for uh, Labyrinth. And uh, yeah, so Tula Lote is uh, another goddess of the industry. And uh, this, is, oh, fried pie variant. So this is Tula Lote, the fried pie variant for Labyrinth, Coronation Number 1 by Simon Spurrier, Bayless Jackson. Really cool, totally captures... David Bowie. Love the clock back there. You have 13 hours in which to solve the labyrinth. Love to the Lotte style. One of my favorites. And then this one right here is really awesome. Peterson. I forget the first name. Uh, Comics Pro. Virgin cover. Oh, yeah, and owls are, uh, I'm especially fond of owls. So this is just awesome. And then the snow owls, like the one with Harry Potter, Hedwig, I love it. And then you'll notice the maze all around. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Not sure how many of these are out there. Uh, when I first saw this, there were some crazy prices, like over $200, but... I got mine for like 15 bucks or $10 or something like that. And I think actually like $10 because I bought it 
and a couple other books at the same time. Uh, so I don't know what was up with that, or maybe it was even like, I never saw if it was like, there wasn't like a foil or a special of this or something, because it was the same cover, and uh, so yeah, I don't know, I think some people just got excited or something, so. Um, uh, obviously, I you know, I, I didn't do my, my uh, haul video, but <clears throat> I think because it's already almost Tuesday, um, we got new comic book day coming up real soon i will uh i got all the books that i showed uh because i know i still did my uh my pull list and then i i did get all the books um yeah so i think we'll we'll leave it at that and uh and then i'll just make sure that i do this next one but uh yeah so the the there's a bunch of books uh lots of cool variants and uh let's see yeah right there just like in these man oh, i can't believe it these 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 oh my goodness gracious all sign all uh at least all of them are signed by uh menton three and then uh one by ashley wood and then one by ben temple smith uh, so that's it guys we'll leave it at that thank you very much and uh yeah i'll see you guys uh in a couple of days peace love and comics god bless